Well, we've got some more right-wing nonsense happening in Finland, and this time it comes from who else but the Basic Finns party, Perussuomalaiset, um, Mari Rantanen. Mari Rantanen is part of the Basic Finns. She's been caught on social media pushing the Great Replacement Theory. She's one of those crazies who thinks that our culture is going away to the immigrants and white people are being replaced in mass. It's going to happen. Just you watch one of these days, you know, finally we'll have an example of somewhere where culture is being taken away from white people. They haven't found an example yet. They like to bullshit. They like to think that, you know, but this is who, who Mari Rantanen is. She's the interior minister here. And who better to have as an interior minister than a total white supremacist? Just, just great work, Finland. Great work with your 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 uh, your votes last time around. But anyway, anyway, um, she's in the news now because she wants to implement basically stop and frisk uh, to stop some of this youth crime that's happening here and just getting worse and worse and worse. Um, it's it's something that has been getting worse in the short term and doesn't really have any show any signs of, of relenting. Um, and it's, it's both on the street and it's on the internet. These kids are sharing videos of, of the, the violent things that they're doing. And of course, the right wing groups here in Finland, just like with any other issue that comes their way, they think it's so black and white and so simple that they can just, boom, implement this one thing and it'll, you know, it'll deter crime. It'll, 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 you know. They, they don't want to do any of the hard work. They don't want to do any of the deep digging. Because when they do the deep digging, they'll find that these issues like crime, like youth violence, are directly rooted in the economic policies that they themselves push forward. NCP, Basic Finns, Christian Democrats, Swedish People's Party, all, all the people on the center right are right. All their economic policies. You know, like, for example, you want to keep kids off the street and you think stopping them, searching them in these so-called problem areas, which is just white supremacist code for areas with a lot of brown people. Um, you think that stopping them, searching them and, and taking their, their knives and their brass knucks and whatever away and ho oh, oh, ho, look at us. We, we, we've done a lot of good here. Uh, you think that's going to do anything to stop them? When the issues, even after you take their knives, even after you take whatever they have on them, even after you take those things away, the issues that made them join those gangs in the first place, the issues that put them out there beating people up and filming it and all that stuff, those issues are still there, Mari, you idiot. Those issues still exist. And what issues am I talking about? How about the fact that, you know, their parents are working harder and harder every single day and they don't have enough time to be at home with their kids. They don't have enough time to be a presence in their lives. Um, you have created these economic conditions to where that is becoming harder for parents to do, to, to stay in kids' lives. You're cutting funding for welfare. You're cutting funding for, their, for the, the, the programs that kept them busy and interested. And of course, there are things that are out of their control, such as the, the, the toxic social media culture where everybody's got to film everything. And, um, you know, people are doing shit for clout, for views, which turns into money because they can slap advertisements on it. So it is, yeah, of course, capitalism as a whole. But the drivers, the main force behind capitalism, are the capitalists, the right wing, the people who don't want... Of course, there are capitalists on the left wing, too. I'm not saying that there's not. But the ones who are making it worse and worse and worse and worse and making these conditions worse. These are the things that are beneath the surface of, well, we'll just stop them. We'll just give police the power to go into these trouble areas and take their knives away. That ain't gonna do shit. An increasing police presence and power, it ain't gonna do shit either. All it's gonna do is make these kids congregate somewhere else. They see cops congregating somewhere, they'll go somewhere else. Or they'll use this thing called the internet. This thing called the internet to gather up and plan whatever nefarious things they are going to do today. Um, you've got to look at all the issues. And you, you, you have to have compassion, you have to have empathy, and you have to have a brain, unlike um, the basic fins, the, the pedosomalized. You have to have a brain, some critical thinking skills to understand 
why it is that this youth violence thing is getting so much worse. You cannot just increase police presence and increase their funding and give them more, you know, like, like give, give them broader powers to further, you know, um, deprive people of their liberty. It's, it's just one more way that they get to look good, that they get to justify their racism, their white supremacy, that they get to justify their authoritarianism because they do start this stop and frisk thing. They do start pulling more knives off of people and they go, look, it's working. Look at all these knives we got. Yay, look at them all. Look, look, look at all the stuff and look at all the drugs we've pulled off all these people. Of course, they're going to blame immigrants like they always do, even though a lot of this youth violence is happening among white Finns, you know, but never mind. They'll, they'll still find a way to blame immigrants because that's what they do. Um, but yeah, the, they'll take all the knives and they'll take all the, the blunt weapons and everything off of people and say, oh, it's been a huge success and look at all the stuff we took off of immigrants. This is why we're anti-immigrant because they got all this stuff on them and uh, it's, it's, it's really pathetic and it's sad, but it works. It works and that is exactly how the right wing became so prevalent in Europe to begin with. They played upon people's base fears um, with, with no real evidence. Just like Maria Rantanen and, and, and her belief in the Great Replacement Theory, there's no real evidence. She is a nut job, um, but she's a nut job with power. And just like Rika Purra, just like fucking Petri Orpo, they're all nut jobs and they all have power. And when you got nut jobs with power, you get things like this. You, you, you have deprivation of basic rights and liberties. You have um, increased police presence, patrols. Um, you know... It, it, it's it's not just the economy that's getting worse here in Finland. It's it's society as a whole, but it's it's not because of the kids. It's not because of the immigrants. It's because of the fucking government. It's because of the regime that we have. They are the ones that are making this place an embarrassment. And all this is going to do is make kids resent authority even more. Which is fine. Like It's, it's good to have a, a good, healthy resentment of authority because authority is not good. Um, and, and we see all of the reasons why authority is not good. But when you just deepen and it, 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 when you make that resentment for authority even deeper, more profound, that just they want to do even more to, um, you know, slap authority in the face or try to circumvent authority. Um, you know, power just peters itself out until there's nothing left just like capitalism capitalism and power they go hand in hand and all they do is they, they, they punch themselves out they don't solve anything they, they don't fix anything it's just the snake eating its own tail and then you get to watch these scumbags in the government go oh look we're actually changing something ha 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 no maybe in the short term but in the long term you ain't doing shit Anyway, that's what's probably going to start happening here in Finland. You live in Helsinki. If you live in one of these quote-unquote trouble areas, prepare to start opening your pockets for the pigs. Prepare to start opening your pockets for Maria Rantanen and the rest of her Peru Suomalaiset buddies who know nothing, absolutely nothing. They, they don't know a goddamn thing about anything, but they're just up there pretending, and that's enough for enough people to get them elected. Prepare. Have a good day, folks.